back to training videos. I hope you liked last week's video that wasn't training. That should be my vacation video, right? I don't know, I just do these videos without... I just do them, there's no... Anyway, today we're gonna be doing advanced back training so you can get your back nice and juicy, right? I'm gonna show you this new exercise that I didn't show you last time and it's a dumbbell rows. Or you from, if you're from the country, you call them uh, lawnmowers. Some people call them lawnmowers. And this is why. You get a dumbbell, preferably you wanna be on the rack, right? You wanna be on the bottom rung here. That way, when you come down, you get a really good stretch. If, if not on the rack, you can do it on the bench. I'll show you both. So if you wanna do these lawnmowers, get yourself a dumbbell and it's literally a row it's just a single arm row your elbow is close to your body like this it's not out because then that's more shoulder right so you're like this you use your your opposite arm your anchor arm to pin yourself and then you just row you want to make sure that you come back far and far back enough to have a contraction in your lap so, I'll show you again. So like this, this is a good range of motion. This, this range is too short. This is too short. You're not getting a full contraction on your back. So you just wanna make sure your stance is staggered and that this arm, whatever side you're doing, your anchor arm is pinning, your, pinning you good, right? So then if I did the opposite side, I would be like this. It's almost like fighting or some shit. Right? So if, if you're like in a busy gym and like there's motherfuckers all over the place and you can't really do these on the rack, you can just get a flat bench and just do the same thing on the flat bench. You wanna make sure you get a deep stretch. Make sure you get a deep stretch, that way you get a full range of motion on your back. Also, this video, the other videos I've been doing, I've been doing half dumbbell and half barbell because back is more so based off of rows or pull downs. I'll do part one, which is this part of rows, and then the next part I'll do of pull downs and I'll show you dumbbells and barbell stuff. So this is another good mass building exercise for your back. I'm sure you've seen this in like a shit ton of videos. Everyone does these. So you just need a barbell, right? And if your gym does not have one of these things, you just stick it in. If your gym doesn't have one of these, then you have to stick this barbell in in a corner. Just like stick it in the corner. And but once you do that, the back and you put weight, like so, put weight here. Right? And you're you're working with it like this. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna reach a point where it gets too heavy and the back end is gonna start coming up. So if your gym doesn't have one of these thing of langs and you stick it in the corner, just make sure you put weights on top of the opposite end that you're exercising with. Or else it'll just leverages, you know, physics and stuff, it'll like come up and then you can't lift it, right? Typically you see this exercise done with, with the neutral grip attachment but this gym doesn't have one available so I'll show you what to do preferably do this with that attachment but since I don't have one I'll show you how to do it without so there's two ways you can do this you do this with both hands or you do this single hand right if you're doing it with both hands you have to split your reps in half so if you're doing if you're doing 10 reps then you'll do five like this, and then you'll switch them. Because if not, 
your 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 back is gonna be asymmetrical and you'll be like you'll be like this and that's not that's not a good look. So here's two hands. You want to make sure you have a wide staggered stance and also your back is not bent but straight, right? As you saw my beginner videos for back training, so you should know that. Right. So, this is the exercise, like this. Now I use 25s, because if I use the 45, it would stop, like right here. And so that really limits my range of motion with this exercise. So if I use 25s, I get a deeper stretch. You gotta watch your nuts. So, here's with 25. See how much more motion I get. And if a 45 was here, it would stop here. Now if you're gonna do these with one arm, you have to get like a staggered stance like this, see? Ooh. So, you would use your free hand. It's almost like that exercise I just showed you. I'm tired of talking. It's almost like that exercise I showed you with the dumbbell. You use your free hand and you pin that shit. You pin that shit on your thigh here. And then your working hand is here. Just remember, if you're a guy, watch your nuts. So, you'd be staggered like this, and you would come up just like that. And of course, these 25s get a deeper range of motion than if you use 45. Remember that, that attachment I was trying to show you earlier, this is it. So you would put, you would put this under the barbell, and just, this exercise mimics that one. So you, as an advanced lifter, you want to start incorporating more cable stuff. Because it's not better than free weight stuff, but it is different. And different is good, right? So. This movement is just like the movement I just showed you, except on the cables. You would get your, your good little stance here. Make sure your titties are out, and you're looking up, and glorious and shit, and your back is straight, like a model or some shit. And so with this one, a lot of people do this. A lot of people lean back too much, and then they row. If you do that, there's, it doesn't really, focus on the muscle group that you want, that's like more for traps. Like you want to have tension on your back the whole time, like this. If I'm too far back, there's tension on my traps. So like right here, I'd say about 90 degrees. Because if you're too far forward, it just puts unnecessary stress on your lower back. So you're here, and you just come back. Just like that. Remember, titties out, our back arched. Always looking up, glorious lighting. So, like I said, you want to incorporate more cable stuff. So you want to mimic your free weight movements with cable systems, right? So, your typical barbell row, like this, is great. It's an amazing back builder. But, this is different. So, just like, just like the one I just showed you, Grab your shit, titties out, make sure there's tension on your back, and then row that hoe. But the cool thing with this is, you know, this is your regular row right here. The cool thing with this one is you can kind of control, no, let's save that for the expert series. So you have to, you have to watch my videos, I'm not gonna tell you this part. So mimic that movement with this. Then you do it underhand, right? Just like that. And then, you wanna do some single arm shit because you gotta switch it up. Your body's gonna get adapted to the same shit and it won't grow. You do some single arm shit. Oh, that's too heavy. Make sure you lower the weight. Single arm shit. You can do it in neutral grip like this. You could do this grip, like this. 
you can do this grip. It's just like movie magic, like this. And they all target different parts of your back, which I will discuss in the expert series in the future. So you keep watching my shit, and you'll watch these videos, and you'll be like, Shh, I know everything now, fuck that guy. And I'll be like, damn. Wow, look, these are so amazing. Ooh, hey, what's that say? Oh, wow, is that my brand? <laughs> it is. Uh, so, you might want to use gloves if you're doing drop sets and shit because you're going to be doing a lot of pulling and it might, it might leave your shit raw. So, wow, see the after effects been placed here. So, it'd be easiest to do drop sets, like I said before, on a cable system just because you can use, you can just pull the pin out and lower it, like so. You would do this. Let's say I did 10 for video's sake. And just lower it. Wow, was that 10? I think it was. Lower it some more. That's how you should be sounding by the end of your drop set. If not, you didn't do any drop sets intensely enough. And there was my drop set. Amazing. On the cable system. If you try to do that on the barbell, you would like, you would do your rows and then rack your shit and then run over, remove the plate. You see how silly I look? Remove the plate and then like run back and do your shit again. It's just too many steps. So just do it here. It's a lot easier. Uh, that was part one of back training. I just showed you some row stuff. I didn't show you everything because then I then I wouldn't have anything for my expert series. And then and then you would just leave me. You would just leave. Uh, hey look, holy shit social media and stuff. Hey look, holy shit, <laughs> and email and stuff. Next week I'll do part two of back. By next week, I mean right after this video, I'll have the same haircut, the same lack of facial hair, and the same shirt that you should buy. You can do this with the shirt. You can't say that for, <laughs> for all the shirts out there. Uh, next week I'll do the pull down stuff for your width. All this was for your thickness, this way. This way, next week is this way, right? Okay, see ya.